Hello and welcome back to another one of our vlogs. I have to say a huge thank you to everyone that has newly subscribed to this channel and for the incredible messages of support and of tips and tricks that I could use and oh, I just can't believe how absolutely lovely you have all been. Thank you so, so very much. Totally blown away, I really am. This week on my way in, I lost another half a pound, which at first I thought, oh, half a pound. But actually, oh, half a pound is a lot of weight. So, you know, if I had put that half a pound on, I'd be devastated. So, yeah, I just think because I've been trying so hard that sometimes your body just has to adjust to the dramatic weight loss. And I had lost 11 pounds in two weeks. So that is, I'd say, pretty dramatic. I've also felt a bit groggy and the fitness coach at the group I go to said that it can be when your body loses a dramatic amount of weight the fat cells have toxins in them so when you your body breaks down those fat cells it can make you feel a bit oh, a bit pants and i think that's how i've been feeling over the last few days thank you for everyone who gave me fantastic absolutely fantastic advice for things that i could do with hope the dopey man Thank you so much to Melanie Sheen who told me about a YouTube page called Broccoli Mum. It's a vegan lady who does these amazing low calorie recipes and she told me about the sweet potato cookies. Oh my gosh, we can eat cookies. <laughs> and I have to say, I took the advice of uh, Sidelicious11 who said, why don't you go for a walk with your horse? It could be fun and a good way to get exercise and shed some pounds. And I thought, you know what? We can do that. We can do that straight away. Because when I got to the field yesterday, Hope was really not feeling the lunging. And I mean, like seriously, not feeling the lunging. And she was a bit iffy to catch, to be quite honest. So I thought, why don't we go for a little walk around the field which is just next to our field. It's a bit difficult for us to get out of our field at the moment which is also something that has led to this, well, this white problem that we now have. But we are working on gates at the moment. Sorting out gates, we're going to have a new external gate. Well, not a new one but a recycled, newly hung outside gate. That'll be super. But what we did we went for a walk around the field and Bruce, for those of you who don't know, Bruce is my youngest son and he has a 14 month old cult foal called Dream, who our channel is actually named after. And he is a 14 month old cult foal that we rescued just before Christmas from the slaughterhouse. And he has never really been out of the field since last Christmas. So I said, why don't we have a walk round? You can take little baby Dream and I'm sure he'll really enjoy it as well. Great mental stimulation. And because Simon was with us too, he took the old man Toby. And for those of you who don't know who Toby is, Toby is my blind 44 year old pony who I've had since I was a child and he just keeps on going. He really is the love of my life and I really need to do like a meet the herd video, you know, maybe three videos so you can meet all three of them. But here you can see that we took the three of them for a lovely walk. It was fantastic mental stimulation for them. And I'll be honest with you, I was absolutely shattered when we got back and it was only just over three kilometres. So tired <laughs> and Hope was absolutely shattered. I think she was more tired from doing that than she ever is from doing like 25 minutes, half an hour lunging. So, yeah, I think we're going to have to do that a lot more. But 
What really blew me away was how Baby Dream walked around with Bruce like he was, I don't know, a 10-year-old cob being there, done that type. See, now part of me feels guilty for not doing this before, but, you know, he gave me these great ideas and suggestions and I do read every single one of your comments and I do always answer them. It's just sometimes it takes me a while because I'm not going to lie, there's quite a few. I'm so humbled by it. Thank you so very, very much. And if you haven't already subscribed, then please do because actually only 2% of the people that watch our vlogs and our videos are actually subscribed so if everyone subscribed then wow we would have the most incredible community it would be amazing so we made our way back to the field and yes we were tired and yes it was effort but the horses loved it Bruce loved it he had the absolute time of his life and he kept saying mom we're going on an adventure I also loved the suggestions about driving her and we do actually have a cart somewhere uh, that is in a field not so far away. So what I'm going to do this week is see if I can go and get it. So fingers crossed it's still in some kind of decent usable condition. Hopefully the tyres aren't too bad but we can also sort that out as well because we do love a bit of DIY and renovation. And then all I'll have to do is sort out getting a cob size harness for Hope which isn't in the budget at the moment but I'm sure I'll be able to find one second hand and my birthday is coming up at the end of this month. So I'm sure that we'll be able to sort something out. So let's get on with the rest of this vlog. Me and Bruce are going to be going to get some posts now that I found on Facebook Marketplace. And well, we need to get these gates sorted so we've got better access in and out of the field for the horses. We're on the hunt for some more Facebook Marketplace finds. Um, we've just had a message from a lady who's selling some wooden posts. There's only six of them, but she only wants £10, so we're gonna go and collect those and add it to our... Collection. Yeah, collection of wooden posts that we're gonna need. I think we're gonna need about 90 to make our track system, well, it's like a hybrid track, let's call it that. So we're going to need about 90 posts all together, so these six will help towards the total. Carry them. They're very easy. They're light. Right. Yeah, they are quite light. They're only four foot posts, but we can still use them, so that's fantastic. And there they are in the back. Tiny. Right, let's get them dropped off. We've been and collected the posts, and we've also been up to Romsey Country Stores and collected a sheep hurdle because I've got a bit of an idea. Right, 
So where we've got the gate, where we fenced off that bit for the dogs, I'm thinking we can put this here instead of the big gate that we've got there. And then, well, I'm thinking we need a gate to be able to get into the main part of the field so that we can get tractor access, vehicle access. You know, we want to be able to spray the field and really manage and maintain the field, so we need access there. And also, I'd much rather, you know, be able to get the horses out that way. I think that would be so much easier for me. So, uh, yeah, let's see how this works. So, that gate there, where the beautiful Hope is standing, that's the one I want to just try out with a sheep hurdle. So, that's my idea, and then that gate, let me show you. Then that gate there, which is too big to go there, it was only temporary, can go somewhere over there in that corner. Will it go in that corner, Dream? I think it will. I'm about to turn, Dream, on the zebra. Oh, he's never had a fly mask on before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's the best boy, isn't he? Watch him now. Watch him now. Yeah, it's supposed to be in there. Ready? Ah. Oh, the zebra. Zebra horse is ready. Oh, so that's it. Straighten it up a bit. Zebra oh, it's a zebra pony. Oh, dream boy, what's <laughs> that? Oh, I was thinking, I don't know what that is. <laughs> oh, dream boy. Hello. Hello, little boy. Oh, don't be mean to him because he's a zebra. <laughs> you start one job and end up doing 500 other different jobs at the same time. So the sheep herd will fit absolutely perfectly. But we need some brackets um, to be able to hang them off the... To be able to hang it off the side of the stable. So we're going to hang it from here um so that it's raised off the floor and it goes all the way across to here and then because see how how much this gate overhangs it's far too big so then we can put a latch on here that we've got Let's go now, have a look what Simon's doing. I think he's trying to fix the stable door back on. So yeah, that's a job to tick off the list, surely. We've taken the door off, taken it off the bottom hinge, and we're going to fix the hinge that's come off. We're gonna put that back on, but we're gonna put it in a slightly different area. The screws that were in here, were really short and they've just snapped off basically, been attacked by a tar. So, I'm going to put much longer screws in. <laughs> ah, so hopefully that will do the job and it will stay on a lot longer this time. There's two screws in there. Where? Do you want me to get, hang on, let me get in there and I'll hold the tar. Oh, mountain of hay. There's one at the top and one at the bottom. You found it? Nope. Found one. Found one. It's guesswork. <laughs> I'm sure there's another one in Just be down the bottom there, it's pivoting there. I did a really good job of screwing it on. <laughs> you did? We'll do it the easy way. 
Yay! Well, that broom head sad it. Yep. Really is an accomplishment to have all the hay already drying out. Some of it's a bit damp still. It's all lovely and drying out in here. Hopefully those will be more substantial than the uh, the ones that came out. Well, they're a lot bigger than the last ones that were in there. The last ones were tiny. Solid. And it's not come through. Perfect. What do you think of that hope? Is that better? Is that better? You're not going to knock this one off? I like how you're supervising. She does supervise you very well, Simon. She does. Oh, I feel like that's stealing hope. One, two, three. Oh my gosh, that's heavy. Yeah. Well oh. Super. Oh yay! It's on. It's on again. You got your ear out of that already. Come here. Where have you got your ear out of there? There you go. Well, now we can just tie the door back up. At least we have done a little job. Stepped a little bit further forwards. Hmm. Going to have to order the brackets to fix the sheep hurdle. We've already got the brackets to fit the gates, the bigger gates down there. Um, but we can't take it off here because they'll all be scrubbing the caravan over so yeah i think that'll be a couple of days then before that'll come but we've got this far today we've made a little bit of progress that doesn't involve ragwort it's always wonderful and hope has supervised the whole time because otherwise we wouldn't have been able to do anything would we hope without your supervision she is a very good supervisor. Let me do it. Ooh.